Hey, what's going on, Arrow Nerd fans? Uh, I have not made a video in a very, very long time because I've been, I have been flying. Uh, I've been instructing, and uh, haven't been able to have any time uh, to make a video. But uh, since this whole coronavirus and this mandatory stay-home order has been uh, in effect for a while, um, I just want to see if I can still fly. I haven't flown in about maybe two weeks, two and a half weeks. So what I'm going to do, I'm in Ormond right now. I'm going to take off in Ormond and I'm just going to do a very short flight. And I'm going to do an instrument approach, maybe the RNAV or ILS uh, for 7 left into, into Daytona. And uh, I'm actually going to try to do this as realistically as possible. I don't have a six pack here, but I'm actually going to use my G1000. The reason I want to use this is because I'm actually going to be using this today, which is the bottles. Um, let me see. Let me, let me test this out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, all I can see is my G1000. Cool. All right. So <laughs> let's <laughs> let's go ahead and get this started. Prop is clear. Clear left. Clear right. Clear prop. Master switch is on. Okay. Beacon is on. Auxiliary fuel pump. Let's see if this is less than 140, 150, which it is. I'm going to go ahead and prime it. So I'm going to put my mixture all the way in, and prime for a few seconds. The engine seems ideally primed. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it's ideally, <laughs> it's ideally primed. All right. Uh, ignition is on. All right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start it. Guess I can zoom out here so I can see. All right. Well, it looks like we have a successful start. Yay. All right, what's next? Uh, ignition on. Finish it smoothly. Okay, throttle 800 to 1000 RPM. I got my RPMs right here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, set my G1000 up for the uh, for the approach into Daytona. Be right back. Okay, and we're back. So I got everything plugged in the G1000. I am um, I chose the LPV or the uh, the RNAV approach for seven left into into Daytona into KDAB, um, and we're going to be taking off uh, from runway three five. <laughs> got our altimeter set and clear left. Play right, and here we go. Oh, wrong throttle. <laughs> I'm so used to using my warthog over here, huh? There we go. Oh, this is this is definitely different. Here, I'm gonna do my run up. <coughs> All right, so brakes hold. <coughs> of course, this is why I would do my. Engines uh, are flight control screen correct. I look behind me. Hey, that looks good. Cool, that looks good. And I can't see my ailerons, but I'm going to assume that my ailerons are working. <coughs> Alright, we're told. And this is going to go up to 1800. And I'm just going to use this for G1000. Right? Seventeen. All right, Tinhai, that's good enough. All right, check on the left. Uh, the two clicks to the left. There's a the drop. Doesn't exceed 125. Back to both. And to the left. Pull. Back to both. Pull. It's not between 50. And between each one, and then the idle. Cool, didn't die on me. Alright, putting this back up to 800 to 1000. And I got the autopilot already set to 2000 feet on runway heading. Got the flight level climb set to 85 knots. So as soon as I rotate, I'll go ahead and put that on. Got runway 35, 35 verified. Speeds alive. Engines are green. Here's 50. 55. Rotate. Ooh, it is the 
dusty up here. Oh my god. Autopilot is going to be activated. Okay, I don't know what it's doing right now, but that's not what the autopilot is supposed to be doing. <laughs> Let me trim, trim this, trim this out. Maybe that's fine. There we go. Okay, it seems like it's going that way now. And it should be climbing. It's just really windy and gusty up here. Um, yeah, I don't know what this autopilot is doing now. I'm supposed to be going that way. Alright, let me... Uh, so it's on heading. What is going on here? This autopilot is not doing what I'm wanting it to do. Alright, 1,000 feet. Alright, you know what? I'm going to not use the autopilot anymore. That's not. Nope, it's not working. Okay, whatever. I'm not doing that anymore. Alright. Okay, so now I'm going to be going to. Uh, direct to Zofri. So let's go to Zofri. Wow, it is really bumpy up here. Look at this. It just doesn't want to just fly. That's where I just took off, huh? Okay, we are back. And now I'm going to put on the toggles and do the final approach all the way, just using the G1000. Now, I don't know how accurate this thing is going to be synced with X-Plane, but we shall find out. All right, let me go ahead and... All right, mixture is rich. I'm going to throttle back here. Looks like I'm above the glide slope, so that's on already not realistic because the final approach fix is, is at at least uh, 1600. And I'm diving toward the ground right now. Let me go ahead and my board slip. Oh wow, this is completely not accurate. I am over. Alright, I guess I'm on minimums now. Where am I at? Oh, I'm right here. Yeah, that was completely unrealistic. The forward slip uh, sound was pretty cool, though. Alright, come on. Getting that. I'm still not even in flat range. Good thing this is a 10,500 foot runway. So, got plenty of space to land here. Yeah, and of course my flaps are on the other side. Alright here and get on that center line come on I'm running out of runway here there we go all right can I get off can I make a whiskey no probably not oh I probably can oh, let me get out Okay, that was interesting. So <laughs> there you have it. I got an excellent landing rating too. Yay. Let's go over here and park by Riddle over here. So there's where Riddle is right over there, all these buildings right here. And go park over there. Anyway, uh, so that's literally it. I'm actually going to, I want to watch that uh, replay get over here in a, on the cross taxi line. Or the whole short line. After landing checklist, landing lights off, taxi lights off, strobes off. I'll keep my beacon on. All yeah, right, cool. All right, so there you have it. <laughs> okay, well, horrible approach, but uh, pretty good. Um, good, I guess, soft landing. Uh, this is one of the reasons why we uh, chair fly. It's very important to chair fly. I always recommend it. Uh, whether if you have a simulator, if your friend has a simulator, or if you just want to chair fly just in a regular chair, do procedures uh, to keep us sharp. So definitely, uh, it now, since everybody's you know, staying home and not really flying due to this 
uh, coronavirus. So hopefully whenever the world recovers, we can actually start flying on a plane. Until then, I recommend we all share fly. Um, in case anybody was asking what I use for my simulator, uh, this is the computer I built about four or five years ago. Still the same computer, still running strong. Um, I also have the Thrustmaster Warthog uh, that I don't really use as much as I did in uh, DCS. Now I'm using the Honeycomb Yoke with the Logitech uh, throttles. I actually have two of them for a multi-engine uh, aircraft. I got two iPads uh, for the G1000 app that syncs with X-Plane fairly well, um, and it's very, very, very uh, um, accurate sim. And I have all of this on the Abuttle platform. And in case anybody's wondering, I will put links uh, in the description below where you can actually access all, all of this stuff. Um, but yes, I kind of built this over time. I think about like two years, um, and I'm still, I'm still building. But anyway, uh, that's all I wanted to post for today since I haven't posted a video. Uh, but until next time, keep flying, keep learning, and always have fun. See you next time.